everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a favorites video i'm going to be talking you through a few beauty and fashion items i've been loving recently i thought it'd be really nice just to do this video for you because i haven't spoken about those favorites recently and i've got quite a few things i've been loving also i wanted to mention i've had my hair done you probably can't even notice but i had a full head bleach i did discuss this last time in my last hair vlog that i was thinking about doing it i actually went to a different salon this time it's my friend's salon i worked with her when i was training in hairdressing many many years ago and she's now got her own salon and I was just like oh I need to go there for a little treat and I'm so happy with it so basically what they did is did a full head bleach they painted it onto my roots only up to here on the top section underneath because it was a lot of my natural hair they just painted it on like all the way through to the end and oh I absolutely love it it's so so nice when I first had it done it was a little bit more brassy than I wanted so I went back and had a toner put on it on Saturday and it's just perfect I'm so happy with it so I just thought I would let you know because I didn't do a vlog because I just didn't really think at the time I just went to go have a bit of a treat and a pamper and yeah I'm so happy with it I think it looks great no more roots all i'm going to do now every time i go is just have it painted onto the root and then i don't have to have foils anymore i actually thought it was going to be a lot more like block and like a bit more stark so that was what was putting me off but i think it looks really natural and very pretty so yeah i'm really happy with that the toner makes such a difference honestly the first time i had it done it just looked a little bit too brassy it reminded me it was more of like a 90s blonde do you know what i mean like when people would just bleach their hair and not really use a toner it felt a little bit like that not like crazily but for me it was just a little bit too brassy but now this toner is on it just feels like a really gorgeous creamy blonde like a sandy blonde which is what i love so I thought I would let you know I had that done. I'm really happy with it. If you want me to take you to the salon next time I have it done, for, uh, which I'm going in about six weeks time, I will take you with me. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get into the video and show you my favourites. So if you want to know what I've been loving recently, beauty and fashion items, just keep watching. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm not going to be showing you any clothing items today, but I have got some really gorgeous accessories that I've been absolutely loving recently. Because I'm not kind of down to my pre-pregnancy weight yet, I'm not in a rush, but I do want to get down to it eventually. And I haven't really been buying that many clothing items, but I have been buying accessories to make my outfits look a little bit more put together. It's just an easy way to kind of switch up an outfit with minimal effort basically and I've been buying most of my accessories from Primark because Primark is the place to go for that kind of thing. My favourite ways at the minute to kind of jazz up an outfit are earrings, hair accessories and sunglasses because the weather's been really lovely recently so I'm going to show you a few of my favourites. I'm going to show you the bits from Primark and then I'm going to show you some other bits. So firstly at these sunglasses I absolutely love them. I think they're so so cool. Now I'm not really kind of like a, a statement sunglasses kind of girl but you know when you've just got like an all black outfit on or something really super simple and you just want to like make it look a little bit more i don't know chic or fashionable i guess i just thought these were so cool i don't know i'm not really into this kind of shape usually but i i tried them on in primark and i just thought they look really snazzy so snazzy is really not a cool word i don't know why i'm using that word but yeah they look quite chic, I think, quite chic. But they were only two pounds in Primark and I thought I had to get them. They just make me feel a little bit more, what is the word? A little bit more extra? I don't know, what is the word you use these days? I do not know, but I just really love them. They're kind of like a tortoiseshell cat eye. They're a little bit more, I don't know if this is a cat eye. Would you say that's a cat eye? I'm not 100% sure, but they are so cool. I love them. They make me feel good. So I'm wearing these sunglasses at the moment. They might not be for everyone. I usually wear like my kind of round ones that I've got from Primark. I, wore them, I got them last year from Primark and they're just black with like a gold tiny like frame around them. And they're a little bit like the Ray-Ban ones and I want to buy them but I am useless with sunglasses. I'll just chuck them in my bag. I constantly lose them so I'm not to be trusted with an expensive pair of sunglasses. So Primark is a place to go for them. You can get so many different styles. I also bought like a big kind of black pair, like completely black. That was it. And they look really cool as well for when I'm feeling like a little bit diva-ish, I guess. They're really, really nice. These are definitely my favourite. So I thought I would share those with you because I've had lots of questions about them. The next favourite from Primark are earrings. I can't stop buying earrings from there. So I've got a pair in at the minute and I just love these. They just make me feel like, a, I don't know, a bit more done up. I don't know. I usually just wear little Swarovski studs in my ears and I've worn them for years and years and years. I think they're Swarovski. 
Mark got them for me years ago, but I just wear them all the time just because I can't be bothered to keep taking my earrings in and out and all of that. I'm just lazy. But I thought, no, I need to try something different and I've been wearing different earrings and I just love them. So these are a few different pairs. I've kept these ones on the um, packaging. I've got these ones here, which are like a gold and pearl pair, which are just two pounds. I also got these just because they're in the sale. I haven't actually worn these yet. They were only one pound in the sale, so I liked those. And they were reduced from three pounds. And then I got this pack of like loads of earrings, but I only wanted, there's 12 sets of earrings in here, but I only wanted them for one set of pearls, but they were one pound 50 and I thought I'll try them. Basically, I wanted to try on some kind of pearly earrings to see if I liked the way they looked on me, because I really wanted to buy like an, a normal, like an expensive pair. But I wanted to see if they suited me first, so I thought I'll go for the Primark cheap ones to see if I actually like the way they look. The one thing I do find with Primark or any kind of cheap earrings is that my ears react to them um, and they get quite sore a lot of the times. So I'm kind of, I must be allergic to whatever metal it is and they don't really... They're fine to wear like for the day, but I can't wear them all the time. So that's why I couldn't wear those pearl earrings all the time and like leave them in. They do irritate my ears a lot. So that is the only downside to kind of cheap earrings, especially if you've got like sensitive ears like I do. What I would love to know is where do you buy your earrings? Are you allergic to like the cheaper ones like me or are they fine for you? Or where do you go for your more expensive not expensive earrings i don't want to spend loads and loads of money but i would like a nice pair of earrings talking of pearls i have been i don't know i really love pearls and i actually think it is my birthstone correct me if i'm wrong i'm um gemini yeah it is pearl so the, it is my birthstone pearl and i do really like it i did find it i did used to think that it's a bit like grannyish or old-fashioned but pearls have really come back into fashion and this is my next favorite item which is this hair clip I bought this off of Amazon and they're, they're all over Instagram at the moment. You know when there's like a favourite um, beauty or fashion item that's just always on Instagram? This is one of those items and I saw it on a lady. I am always searching on Instagram for like hair inspiration and I saw this in like on one of the popular pages and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get this hair grip and it was from Amazon. So I went on Amazon, just searched for pearl hair clip and these came up. I got a pack of three. I can't find the other one and my mum has taken the other one because she really liked it as well. So I gave my mum one and they're all very similar. So this is my favourite one. And basically I just pop it into the side of my hair like so. And it just, oh, ignore that bit of hair. It just looks like I've put a little bit more effort into my hair than I have done because you know me, I, all I do is like curl it and I leave it like that. I'm not very experimental with my hair, but I just thought this, again, it just makes your outfit look a little bit more put together and it looks really sweet. So yeah, I really love this hair clip. I think it was about £8 for the three. You can get them on ASOS. They've got them everywhere at the moment, but I'll link the ones I bought in the description box below. So yeah, absolutely love this hair clip. I think it's really pretty. And that is a little close-up for you of that one there. I then want to show you um, some kind of shoes or sandals that I've been wearing, and that is these, because it's been really, really hot, and I have been living in my trainers previously to that um, and I wanted to wear some nice sandals and I wanted just some nice easy ones to slip on but I didn't want those kind of like sporty sliders I wanted something a little bit more elegant to dress up an outfit when I'm wearing again quite a plain simple outfit and these are very similar to the I think it's Hermes they've got some sandals I think that is these are kind of like a dupe I guess and they were like eight or nine pounds from Boohoo they've got them everywhere I think Primark have got them um, New Look have also got a similar pair as well I'm usually like a six and a half seven they don't really do half sizes these days but after having orlando i feel like my feet have got bigger well they still haven't gone down yet so a size seven fits me perfectly so i love those and then i'm going to also show you a couple of beauty items i've been enjoying because i don't really talk beauty too much on this channel anymore i do the odd like get ready with me which i really enjoy filming but i don't really talk about my favorites too much let me talk to you about these because i've been wearing them non-stop this lipstick i'm wearing today it's kind of like a pink nude I was going for more of like the brownie nude and I have just been really enjoying more of a pink lip recently. I know it's not like a bright pink lip, but you know what I mean? It's like a 
pink nude and it's this one by charlotte tilbury ignore the way it looks because it's literally melted because it's been in my bag this is the shade pillow talk which is a very popular one and yeah i just think it's such a beautiful color i've been wearing it every day it's a revolution matte i think it is matte revolution i believe it is a matte lipstick it's very very creamy to wear though which is nice not like really really long lasting but wears off very nicely so it doesn't like go patchy or anything or make your lips feel dry i have also recently got another one from her my mum got this for me and this is called super 90s which again is more of that brown color which i said that i don't really wear as much these days but i actually saw it on her instagram when she was using it on a model and i was like oh my god i love that color it's definitely a little bit darker than i thought it was going to be but if you're light handed with it you can make it a lot sheerer and not so dark i thought this would be like the perfect kind of winter nude it's not a nude but you know what i mean that is the color there ignore that green stamp is from where i went out yesterday with renzo but that is the 90s nude or super 90s sorry that is super 90s and then let me just swatch um pillow talk for you so you can have a look at that one as well and that one there is pillow talk so they're both quite similar this one's obviously a little bit darker but like i said you can make it a bit sheerer if you wanted to i've really been enjoying charlotte tilbury lipsticks I've been wearing it non-stop. I wear it all the time and it's just such a pretty colour. Very wearable, easy to wear. So, love that. And then a couple of last products. I don't want to bore you with too many things, but these are definitely the, the items that I've been using every day. So, Benefit. I absolutely love Benefit products. I've been using them for years now. I use their mascara all the time. Their bronzer. Hula is one of the first Benefit products I bought, I believe. And they've just come out with some new shades. They've come out with two new shades, which are a darker shade. They've got caramel, and I believe they've also got toasted. So caramel is just so up my street. When I saw this, I was like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. With Hula, um, the original Hula is a little bit more cool tone. It's great for like that contour because it's matte. This one here is perfect for summer because it's got that kind of more warm, olivey tone to it. And I obviously fake tan quite a lot. So this is absolutely perfect. I'm wearing it today. I've just got it in all the places where I'd usually wear my bronzer and I absolutely love it. Benefit have now got five different Hula shades. They've got like the light version. Oh, is there four shades? I think it's four shades. Caramel, Toasted, Hula and then Hula Light. Yeah, so they've got four shades now, and Hula Caramel is beaut. I absolutely love it. If you fake tan, then you're gonna love this. If you've got darker skin tones, it's gonna be amazing for you. That is my one there. You can't really, it, it looks quite light there, but if I pull it back here, it's a bit more true to colour. The final product I want to talk about from Benefit was kind of gifted. It was the Cheek Leaders palette. The Cheek Leaders palette. I love Benefit palettes because they've got everything you need all in one. I've been using a, quite a few of the shades here, so I'm going to show you the favourites that I've been loving. The shades I've been loving in this palette are, obviously we've got the original Hula in here. Tickle is exclusive to the palette, so it's like a highlighter blush. I have been really enjoying that. So it's kind of like a pink as you can see but it does go like a champagne color as well and it's a really really pretty highlighter i've been loving it when i apply it onto my cheekbones you kind of like turn to one side and you've got that kind of shimmery highlight and then you turn like straight on and then you've got this kind of like pink blush i don't know it's like a two-in-one product it's really really clever and i've always loved california it's a really gorgeous peach blush i love kind of peachy blushes usually i'm wearing it today actually i don't know if you can tell but i've got california on today so these top three shades are my favorite dallas is I, that is I think is a blush or is it must be a blush isn't it and we've also got dandelion in there so they have got smaller palettes as well with like three shades in there but this one I just thought was really lovely I'm just going to swatch tickle because it's a exclusive one in the palette so they don't sell this anywhere else they don't sell it on its own if you know what I mean so oh it's just so gorgeous what is this shade I don't even know but it's like a mermaid so nice so can you see how it's kind of pink and then like champagne and then pink Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. That is my favourite palette at the moment. I've been using it non-stop. Yeah, those are my favourites at the moment. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and listening about my fashion and beauty favourites at the moment. It was really nice to kind of film this for you. I have got some routine videos coming up. I'm going to film like a routine a video with Orlando and things like that for you because they've been really highly requested. But every time that I've planned to film a routine video, I've just ended up having like a really hectic, busy day. And then it's just got to the evening and I'm like... Oh, I've still got so much to do, so I just haven't got around to it. But I will film a routine video for you. I'm going to do like an evening one for you, I think, vlog style. It was just nice to kind of go back to talking about things that I love, beauty-wise, rather than just talking baby stuff all the time, because I know you're not all here for baby stuff, but 
they are cute so I will keep it coming and I want to just get back to you know having that nice mix again because I really enjoy talking beauty cleaning stuff as well I'm going to do some more cleaning videos again soon so bear with me for those but they are coming yeah let me know if there's any other things that you want to see any other video requests I know you guys love vlogs so vlogs are still going to be coming but anything else that you would like to see let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already it would mean the absolute world for me and when I get to my next milestone I will do a giveaway so watch out for that one thank you so much for watching I will see you all in my next video bye guys